there! My name is Kalia Davis and I am a teaching artist with New York City Children's Theatre. What is a teaching artist? Glad you asked. A teaching artist is someone who loves to teach young people about the wonderful world of the arts and is also a professional artist. Today, we are going to be exploring some theater exercises based on the book Harold and the Purple Crayon by Crockett Johnson. Okay, before we go on our adventure, we have to warm up our bodies, our voices, and our imagination. As you can see, I moved to a place in my room where I know that it is safe for me to move my body as much as I want without running into anything or anyone. The first thing that I would love for us to do is called the five count shakeout. In a five count shakeout, we're going to shake out one hand, then we're gonna shake out another hand, then we're gonna shake out a foot, then we're gonna shake out our other foot, and while we shake it out, we will be counting to five, then four, then three, then two, then one. Are you ready? Let's do it together. One, two, three, four, five. 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 One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. One, two. One, two, one, two, one, 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 you're done! <laughs> Good work, everybody. Did you know that your voice is actually connected to your breath? Yeah. So what we're going to do is a breathing exercise that I like to call dragon versus owl. As we all know, dragons breathe fire. And when they do, their fire is huge. So when we take a big dragon breath, we're going to have it last a long time. Five seconds. Like this. Great. Now you try. Wonderful. Now we're going to be owls. Firstly, what sound does an owl make? <laughs> You're right. An owl goes, hoo, hoo. And did you hear how short that is? That's because they use a short amount of breath. Unlike a dragon who breathes fire for a long time, our hoo, hoo are going to be really short. In fact, it's only going to be one second long, like this. Now you try. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Very good. Let's put them together. First, I'm going to say dragon breath, and you are going to breathe for five seconds. Then I'm going to say owl breath, and you are going to breathe for one second. If you can, like you've seen me doing, try and put your hands on your belly, making it nice and big, full of air, and you can Feel it leaving your body. Here we go. Dragon breath. <sighs> now, owl breath. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Sweet. But before we can go on an adventure like Harold does and Harold in the Purple Crayon, we have to turn on our imaginations. To turn on your imagination, all you have to do is turn on your imagination button. Wait, you don't know about your imagination button? Well, it's a good thing I'm here. Your imagination button is unique to you. You can turn it on from anywhere on your body. My imagination button lives behind my earlobe. I have one friend whose imagination button is on their elbow. I have another friend whose imagination button is on their knee. 
I even have a friend whose imagination button is right here on their nose. Where's yours? Great! Now that you know where it is, it's time to turn it on. But we have to do it with a silly noise like this. Awesome! We're ready to start our adventure. But first, we're going to need a crayon. Oh, how convenient! Now, Harold's crayon is purple, my crayon is silver. What color is your crayon? Wow, I think I heard every single color that you would find in the rainbow and beyond. Amazing. With these crayons, we're going to draw an imaginary door. This door could be however tall you want it to be, or however small you want it to be. Let's draw our door. Don't forget the doorknob. Oh. Oh. It is hot. We are in a desert. And when it's hot, people will pant and fan their hands like this. You try. Oh, all this heat in the big wide desert is making me feel so tired. Oh, let's walk through the desert, but we're really tired and hot. Oh. oh, let's use our crayons to draw a new door. Whew, this may be a little difficult because we're kind of tired, but I believe in us. We can do it. Oh, 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 don't forget the doorknob. Okay, it's not so hot anymore because we are on the ocean. Wow, sailing on a ship. But I don't know about you. But I'm feeling really rocky on this boat, on the ocean, and it's making me feel a little scared. I feel like I might lean too far this way, whoa, or lean too far this way, whoa, oh no, this ship is too rocky, oh. But we gotta sail it, so let's try and row our boat. But we're probably really scared. Here we go. Rowing. Rowing. Whoa! You try. Whoa! This ship is too rocky on this ocean. Let's draw a new door. But. Be careful, it might be a little crazy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't forget the doorknob. Wow, we're not on the ocean anymore. We drew ourselves right to the bottom of a very tall mountain, but it's cold here. But you know what? At the top of that mountain is a prize. And I don't know about you, but I want to find that prize. Let's climb to the top of the mountain. Climb, 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 climb. Climb! Oh boy, as I'm climbing, 
I'm starting to feel excited. I don't know what this prize is, but I can't wait to find out. And we're here at the top of the mountain. Wow. It's still pretty cold. And I don't see my... Wait a minute. I found our prize. The only logical way to get back down a mountain is to take a hot air balloon. Let's climb in and sail down. <sighs> Great, we made it all the way back to the ground. <sighs> I don't know about you, but I'm feeling pretty tired. I think it's time for us to go back home, which means we have to use our crayon to draw one more door. And this door can be as big or as small or as shaky or as crazy or as silly as you want it to be. Go ahead, draw your door. And don't forget the doorknob. <laughs> oh, wow, that was so much fun. Thank you for going on an adventure today like Harold did with his purple crayon. Do you remember where we went? That's right, the desert that was too hot. Oh yeah, and the ship on the ocean, that was too rocky. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, and finally, the mountain that was too cold. Climb, climb, climb. If you want to show your grown-up where you went on your crayon adventure today, you can just use these movements. Or even better, you can create new ones and go to different places with your imagination. I can't wait to see where your imagination takes you. Thanks for stopping by.